welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video to a series that I started about two months ago on my channel. So I basically picked out six eyeshadow palettes in my makeup collection that I had purchased but never used and I wanted to start a series called Try It and then buy. So try and buy is what I named the series. And basically the whole concept was to try the palette, see what I thought of it, film a look with each of the palettes that I had never used in my collection, and then at the end I wanna film a video where I go through each one and tell you if I am planning on keeping it or decluttering it from my collection. So it seemed like a great idea at the time, and two, three months went by and I still haven't gotten around to filming the follow-up videos to the start of the series, so I'm finally getting serious. I'm sitting down and playing with one of the palettes, and I plan on doing other videos as well, and I will create a playlist for the series. So if you catch one of the videos, you can binge watch the entire series and see which palettes I chose and which palettes I ended up keeping or decluttering. All of that good stuff is to come. So the palette I am wearing on my eyes today is this guy. This is the Natasha Denona Star Palette. And when this palette was purchased, she didn't have her Metropolis palette, which I reference a lot when I'm doing the eye look. I feel like the Metropolis is like the chef's kiss of all the Natasha Denona palettes. It's my absolute favorite one and if I had that palette I probably would have never bought this but I bought this in one of the Sephora sales prior to the Metropolis palette coming out. So I definitely had an interesting time working with the color story because it's definitely more grungy than what I'm interested in at this present time but without further blabbering let's get into how I created this look. Okay guys so I'm gonna film with this palette that's part of my try and buy video series that you guys are probably like, what are you talking about? What series? Because I haven't done a video since I filmed the intro pretty much talking about doing a series and so I'm determined. I really, really, really want to do like a vlogmas and so I want to film these videos and have something ready to go, you know, every day for December. And one thing I want to do with my try and buy series is film a look with each of the palettes that I have included in that series. I'll try and remember to link my intro video in the description box so you guys know what the heck I'm talking about. But basically I had picked out six palettes that were in my makeup collection that I've never used before. So the Natasha Denona Star palette is one I picked up during one of the last Sephora sales and I've literally used this once. So I do want to go ahead and swatch this as well because again I've used it like once and I haven't even swatch all of the shades. So here are the first four shades. Just so I have an idea of what type of makeup look I want to create. It is also Sunday, so I have to go to dinner with the fam. You guys, if you haven't seen my Bye Bye Birdie eyeshadow palette video, you probably don't know about that drama, but every Sunday we have to go to dinner and some days it's good, some days there's family members there that I don't want to deal with and so I'm like hating life and this one, this Sunday is going to be one where there's going to be a family member there that I don't, don't want to deal with so not looking forward to that. I just accidentally swatched this gold shade over the really neutral matte shade before that so let me just swatch it again, there's the neutral matte shade. That's a gold shade, I flip flop those around. So this color palette is very, very toned down. Honestly, when I think of like how her Metropolis palette makes me feel, how much fun that color story is, this one definitely seems like a snooze fest. But for the longest time, this was kind of one of her more exciting palettes, um, in my opinion, because it had 
those different textures and you know some of those neutrals and golds and stuff like that so I think a lot of people when they thought of a big Natasha Denona palette this was the one that most people would gravitate towards but now that I've seen like the Metropolis and I own it this one kind of seems like a less exciting color story in my opinion wow those two there's so many cranberry shades that look so similar I think I just swatched the cranberry shade twice I'm sorry I'm not focusing because I'm too busy thinking about this dinner apparently so ignore that and then the last two shades of this palette there they are so there's kind of the swatches of the Natasha Denona star palette and honestly if you are debating between this and her new Metropolis or this and any of her newer palettes I would recommend this one pretty further down the line because I think the Metropolis is probably my favorite and then I think even the Sunrise has like more interesting shades this one is very very toned down like I know Anna Louise post and has this palette and she loves it but for me it's like not the most inspiring color story um but I want to see if I can make a look with it and I want to decide if this is going to be one that like I keep or get rid of so I'm just taking a blending brush and I already prep my eyes with the P. Louise base and I'm going into this shade right here and I'm just gonna blend that into my crease probably gonna do something pretty simple because like I said I do have dinner to go to I think this would be a fun like holiday palette it's pretty gives me like holiday vibes you know um, but I am just so in love with the Metropolis palette like that's the only one I want to recommend to you guys from Natasha Denona to be very honest I'm very 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 biased about her palettes now I'm going to go into a wet and wild like a flat shader brush and I want to put something in my brow bone so there's like a few different neutral shades so I'm just going to tuck that onto my brow bone highlight area and then I want to throw in a little bit of shimmer so I'm going to go into this shade which is like a textured shimmer okay now back to the blending brush I'm going to go into this shade right here this deep brown and I'm going to tuck that into the outer corner of my eyeball Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with how the crease is looking and then I want to play with this blue-brown shade So I think I'm gonna put that on my lid I don't usually use colors like this. So I'm just gonna throw that on with My finger see how that works out and now I want to go in with a flat brush And just dip into that dry first see how pigmented the shade is it's like a duochrome I don't really ever wear shades like this so I thought it would be fun to throw that on my lid I like that color don't know if I like it enough to keep this entire palette though that's the problem now I'm gonna see if I can intensify it by wetting it don't usually have to wet my brush when I'm dealing with Natasha Denona shimmer shades but uh, figured I'd try it out and see definitely building it up nice and chunky okay pretty easy simple I look so I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back okay guys so here is the final look I just added some eyeliner and smoked out my lash line with the one of the burgundy shades and then I'm wearing a Pat McGrath 
lip balm as well as a lip gloss. My lips are so dry because we're going into winter here and so because of that I was trying to do something very hydrating but I do like this look. I did add one of the Kaleidos highlighters as well so I definitely have a lot of glow going on and then my foundation is the pretty fresh foundation from ColourPop. So really like how this look turned out. I like the lid shade. Definitely one of the more grungier color stories. I feel like this palette could have definitely been condensed to a nine panner. I feel like a lot of the shades are very similar so I'm a little bit surprised. Like I feel like a lot of the bronzers, these like nude tones, like they seem so similar. So I'm a little bit confused about that. I feel like it could have easily been condensed. So you know, I'm not really sure yet if I'm going to keep this or not. I'm definitely leaning towards decluttering or selling this palette. I don't think I would outright get rid of it because it's obviously still a new palette in my collection and it was very pricey so I'm not just going to be able to, you know, give it away to somebody. I'd probably try and sell it on my Poshmark, see if somebody picks it up from there. But overall, I definitely like this side more than this side. I feel like this side, I have better palettes with that type of color story. I am really attracted to this blue-green shade. That is the shade on my lids. So, so far, I would probably give this palette like a 5 out of 10 because like I said, I'm definitely comparing it to the Metropolis palette now that I have it. And yeah, this one just doesn't really hold a candle to that big palette. So I still have the Natasha Denona mini nude palette I need to try on my eyes and then I want to film a ranking my Natasha Denona palettes video or maybe I could do the big palettes and the mini palettes separate. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think and then I want to do a ranking of the Pat McGrath palettes as well but I'm gonna wait for Mothership 7 because I have a feeling that's gonna come out pretty soon. I keep pushing the date back to do a ranking video because she keeps announcing new stuff but hopefully that'll be the last palette for some time so we'll see how that goes but yeah anyway just wanted to show you guys how I created this look let you know my thoughts on the star palette and definitely look forward to more videos in this series I'm definitely going to try and film a eyeshadow look with each of the ones that I chose to be a part of this series so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section let me know if you have tried the star palette do you like it are you eyeing it or is it definitely like one of those palettes that is long forgotten by the makeup community? I would love to hear all that down below. I will catch you guys in my next one soon. Bye!